All right, boys, let's move on to Footballers Unfiltered, the part of the show where the football fans can get in contact with us via our email, which is uh, ffp at bbc.co.uk. And they can ask you boys a question and get it answered from a top footballer's point of view. All right, so we've got one here. It says, hi, guys, brilliant show. I listen every week. I'm a massive Newcastle fan for many years. So I've seen the ups and downs, hopefully plenty of ups to look forward to now. I had a question for Callum, please. He says, when I when you joined Newcastle, we weren't in the best of positions and I wondered what made him choose us. Were there other options on the table? I'm assuming that he's happy with his decision now, laugh out loud. Either way, I'm glad he did. Uh, massive thanks for banging those goals in for us. And he also says, my son's a massive Newcastle fan as well. Thanks to Callum. Uh, keep up the good work. Proper player. Nice one, lads, he says. A lot to unpack in there, Cal. Basically, he's asking... Why did you choose Newcastle and were there other options on the table? There was other options, but they offered you the most amount of money. But go on. Go on, go on. <laughs> Mike, he's savage, man. First and foremost, he's jealous. <laughs> he didn't get asked the question. So thanks for your question, Dan. I'll answer it. Um, as a Newcastle fan, you know, we have that connection. Mikel, you can just be quiet for a minute. Um, I think for, for, for me... I had a decision to make when I joined Newcastle. I think um, there was Aston Villa, there was Newcastle, and Newcastle has great history. And basically, the number nine shirt, playing as the striker, I know how much they're worshipped up here and things like that. I think that was something that definitely appealed to me. And then I think there was times when, you know, you've joined a club, for the decisions, you write down your pros and your cons of why you're joining that football club and you stick by them. And don't get me wrong, I joined Newcastle. We then was in a relegation battle, you know, scraping the bottom of the league, playing not so attractive football. Um, then Aston Villa was the other club that was interested at the time. They'd just been taken over. So then they were starting to fly. You know, things were going well there. We played against them, we lost. And I'm thinking... <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> no, well, yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking everyone was like, that could have been you, you know, why didn't you join us? And I thought to myself, I made my decision in that moment based on the facts that were in front of me and what I felt. So no matter what emotion is going on right now, like stick to your soul and your core decisions. And that's what I did. And ultimately, you know, is the football is a crazy sport. We end up getting taken over. Then things go well here. We gain Champions League. I get to play in the Champions League for the first time with Newcastle. <laughs> and then we play against Villa and we beat them 5-1 or something like that. So it's just crazy how football works. And I, I, again, Ricky, I'll say it again, yeah. Do you know what? I can smile. And I think it's been... I've been smiling for the last few weeks, Ricky, on this podcast <laughs> through the microphones. I smell jealousy. Bro, I'm going to sleep over here, yeah? Think I'm about talking, this. I'm talking to my think, mate, Dan. Yeah? Think, think about this, Dan. Yeah? I'm going to talk to you on a serious level, yeah? <laughs> the boy is from Birmingham, yeah? <laughs> the boy is from Birmingham, yeah? His Actually, family I'm from is... His, right, from he's Coventry. from Coventry, yeah? <laughs> the boy is from the Midlands. He was living in Bournemouth. <laughs> <laughs> he chose to go Newcastle. Hey, I'm telling you, he's for the love of the game. Yeah, <laughs> he is for the love of the game. I'm telling you this. Right You're a now. dreamer, man. Yeah, you keep talking your Jimmy Jabber. Yeah, no, 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 no. no. Listen, know. do you know one what one thing right in my career that I've always lived by and made my decisions? never been based on money on financial decisions. I've never made a footballing decision on financial terms or purposes ever. I know I don't check. I, I, I always have said it. I got told it when I was younger and I've stood by it is never chase the money. You've and always that, said that. And that's what I've you. done. And that's yeah. what I've done, Mikey. And that is what I did because truth be told, what age did you sign for Newcastle? The <laughs> deals, the deals from Villa and Newcastle were exactly the same. What age did you sign for Newcastle? Well, it was three years ago, so I'd have been t just turning 28, I think. Well, it was 28. September. September, I was 
28, yeah, 28, I think. Uh, you know what, go on then, I'll, 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 I'll believe you there. I'll believe <laughs> exactly, you. come on, I don't need to chase the money, I'm 28 years old, yeah, like, yeah, I would have yeah, been, yeah. do you know what I'm saying? So, I've, uh, right. but even even my footballing decision to join Bournemouth from Coventry wasn't financial, it was literally, I woke up and I got told, pick Bournemouth or Norwich. And Bournemouth put me in a hotel overlooking the beach and I was like, open my car. I was like, <laughs> I get used to this lifestyle, boy. So I went down for breakfast. My agent said, Norwich or Bournemouth? And I said, you know what? I'm going to join Bournemouth. I'm going to stay here. I'm going to sign here. And that was the decision made in that moment based on where I could see my family living and growing. And I did the same thing, Newcastle, because ultimately I didn't want to take them back to the Midlands too soon. You know, obviously it's like, yeah, they've been away from there so long. I just want to, yeah, ex- let them experience life in different places, and yeah, there we go. So, um, Mikey, all that talk that I was saying <laughs> is actually truth, and I'm speaking from the heart to my mate Dan. <laughs> so, Daniel, thank you for my question, boy. <laughs>